What we have here is an inside corner that is actually an arched inside corner. Um, and I want to use paper tape in it because paper tape is actually a stronger tape. Um, but it won't necessarily just bend right around there without leaving all kinds of little wrinkles. Another option would be to use the fiberglass tape, which does push right in. And you do have a few wrinkles when you do that, but they, they'll pretty much blend out as you put the compound on. But I don't particularly like the idea of using a mesh tape in here because I can easily cut through it with my taping knife later on when I go to finish coat this. And it's, it's not typically as strong of a tape as paper tape. So I'm going to prefer the paper tape, but I'm going to show you a couple tricks on how to get it to bend around here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure the length of the, <coughs> of the paper tape that I need for this uh, inside corner. And I'm just going to make sure it's long enough. I've got it creased already. That's an important thing to do. Make sure you pre-crease it first before you actually go on to the next step. And the next step is I'm actually going to cut one edge of the paper tape about every inch, inch and a half. So that way it will just step around this inside corner that's got a curve to it. All right, I've got my tape all pre-cut and I'm ready to put the compound into the corner. The important thing is to make sure you get enough compound on there. Leaving a bunch of dry spots is just going to lead to little air bubbles later on. Now we're going to start putting the tape in place. The notch part is going to face down and you can see as I press it in place with my fingers it's just easily following the curved shape of this inside corner. When I go to embed the tape, at first I'm going to embed the top part. That way I'm able to get it nice and tight without disrupting the notches too much. When, I am, when I'm embedding the side of the tape that's notched, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm just gliding the knife along it very gently initially. This gets it started and gets those tabs pushed into the mud a little bit. And now I'm just kind of working it. And each time I pass over it, I'm applying a little bit more pressure to the knife, which is going to embed that nice and tight. See, by keeping my taping knife flat against the wall, I'm able to put pressure, but I'm also not pulling up the tab. If I were to bring my knife up nice and stiff like this, or straight up like this, I could actually apply a little bit more pressure, but then I would start pulling the tabs away. So flat, but I am still applying plenty of pressure to get that embedded nice and tight. And there you have it, paper tape that fits into a nice um, curved inside corner.